2006, and we are interviewing Paul Shirk at Pontiac Township High School. Paul Shirk was born on the 11th of May in the year 1932. I am 11th what? The 11th of May. Nope. June. June. <laughs> and you can start over if you okay. want. Okay. <laughs> It is May 1st, 2006, and we are interviewing Paul Shirk at Pontiac Township High School. Paul Shirk was born on the 11th of June in the year 1932. I am Karen Riberty, the interviewer, and Grayson Dwyer and Nicole Mashing are taking notes. Paul Shirk served in the U.S. Air Force in Japan during the Korean War. So, were you drafted or did you enlist? Enlist. Were you living at, the, where were you living at the time? Odell. Why did you join? They need people. Why did you pick this service or branch when you joined? I liked it a lot better, flying. Do you recall your first day in service? Yes. What did it feel like? Boot camp. How was your boot camp experience? Real good. Do you remember your instructors? Uh, third and little. Um, how, d how did you get through boot camp? Uh, we went through schools and stuff and marching. Where were you exactly in Korea? Uh, TGY uh, to Korea from Japan. Do you remember arriving? In, in Japan? Yeah. Uh, yes. We, we went over there on a boat and uh, we re got to uh, Yokohama, Yokohama to Nagoya, waiting for orders. Then we went to Inazuki, Japan. Which is on the uh, southern uh, is on the island of Kyushu. Then uh, with that uh, 6160th Motor Vehicle Squadron, which we worked on stuff for Korea at, at Pusan. There's stuff in here, which is from the uh, the Korean outfit. Did you see combat? A little bit of it. Were there many casual casualties in your unit? Uh, yes. How many were there? Do you I couldn't say. Tell me about a couple of your most memorable experiences. Your what? Tell me about your most memorable experiences. I was protected by a guy. He was a that is from Wisconsin. He he came to be a commander, national commander of the uh, BFW. Were you a prisoner of war? No. Were you awarded any medals or citations? A year. What were they? Uh, National Defense, the uh, Korean Medal, and the uh, United Nations Medal, and the uh, three years ago I was awarded the uh, Korean 50th Anniversary Medal. Then I went back into service again. Okay. How how did you stay in touch with your family? Mail. What was the food like? Out of uh, oh my God. <laughs> Cans. Um, was there something special you did for good luck? Stay alive. Um, 
Did you have plenty of supplies? Yes. How did people entertain themselves? Uh, we had uh, shows. Do you recall any particular humorous or unusual events? Uh, we had some of uh, the USO shows there. What were some of the pranks you or others would pull? I don't know. <laughs> Do you have any photographs? Yes, in there. Of myself. No, no. What did you think of the officers or fellow soldiers? They were good. Did you keep a personal diary? No. Do you recall the day your service ended? Yes. Where were you? I was in California. Waiting to be discharged. What did you do in the days and weeks afterwards? Did a job. Where did you go to work? Uh, let's see. I went to the Juliet Arsenal. Did you make any close friendships when you were in the service? Mm -hmm. Did you make any close friendships when you were in the service? Yes. Um, did you continue any of the of these relationships? Yes. For how long? For a long time. What did you go on to do after the war? I was joined at Arsenal, then, then I went to uh, then I went back into the service again, Air Force, as a courier, working in the command adjutant section, which I fly around on a helicopter, or if I'm going to the Philippines, I uh, take a plane. I had them at my disposal. Did your military experience influence your thinking about the military in general today? Mm, yes. How did you? How did your service and experience affect your life? Feel good. Is there anything you would like to add to this interview that we have not covered? I was in the uh, National Guards for quite a while, which I received medals there. This is landing in North Korea. These are the, this one is uh, marching in Korea. This is uh, shooting a guy uh, sitting down with his rifle. And they're shooting here. This is a, our plane's over in Korea. This is General MacArthur giving Korea back to Sigmund Rhee. My discharges, uh, the Pusan Premier. Discharge. Uh, discharge. I was in the Air Force Reserve. This is when I was in the uh, uh, Soviet 
second time in the Air Force. This is the uh, plane that I would fly on. Going to Philippines or Korea. This is uh, at our V fit course. I'm discharged. Certificate of training. Orders on different things. And natural guards. 